Okay, so today we're working on sentence 80, which is page 91 in your textbook. And the sentence is, fish ate the crumbs, so Sam is upset. Let's work on the part of speech first, please. Noun, verb, adjective, noun, conjunction, noun, verb, and adjective. Okay, so one more time for our parts of speech. Noun, verb, adjective, noun, conjunction, noun, verb, adjective. Okay, so for subject we have fish, and our verb ate is an action verb. So let's see if this action verb transfers the action onto another object. Fish ate what? fish ate crumbs, okay? Well, if we have a direct object, let's look to see if there's an indirect object. We're gonna look at our verb ate and our direct object crumbs and look at the words in between to see if there are any nouns or pronouns. All we see is this adjective, so this does not have an indirect object. Now let's look down here. Sam is also a subject. Our verb is, is a linking verb, and what is Sam? Sam equals what? Sam equals upset, so that is our subject complement. Okay, Sam and upset are the same thing. We didn't identify any prepositions in our parts of speech, so we do not have any prepositional phrases. Fish ate the crumbs is one independent clause. Sam is upset is another independent clause. Because we have two independent clauses, this makes it a compound sentence. Okay? And when we look at our... Uh, punctuation, we see a period, which means this is either declarative or imperative, and it's not giving us a demand, rather it's giving us information, so it's a compound declarative sentence, okay? Um, it is joined by a coordinating conjunction, so, and um, this first clause has an uh, action verb that passes it on to a direct object without the direct object. And the second one has the linking verb with the subject complement.